It's Brother Mel, the Hawaiian Peacock, just the remix. He likes aqua blue water, is all I see. Bluer than the sky, and it's all so deep. Say island to island, just you and me. Ja Aloha, my Hawaiian Peacock, Ohana. This is your boy, Brother Mel, aka the Hawaiian Peacock. Here with another video for you. In this video here, you already know what's going down. The hat, the glasses, it's Tiki Falls time, baby. Behind me, Tiki Falls 2.0. And check it out, we are doing some major construction on the falls. Falls being, we're adding another waterfall, guys. So check it out. All right, guys, so see this big rock here? Right behind this big rock, we're gonna put a uh, waterfall filter right here. It's going to spill this way. We're gonna kind of hide it by these other rocks so you won't be able to see where the water's coming from. And we are going to hide it. It's gonna come down here. The water's gonna zigzag and turn this way. But before it zigzags, I'm gonna make a little pooling area here, real shallow for like maybe birds, uh, a little bit of wildlife. I know there's a lot of hummingbirds that come through here too as well. So we're gonna have that little pooling area. The water's gonna drop back down here where the sand is. And this is where our second fall is going to go right into the pond. We got waterfall one, and this will be waterfall two. It's also gonna add more aeration to the pond and also cause a current, which is gonna slowly move this way to the box filter down below all right so we're going to get to it we're going to get on this excavation here if you guys ever need some leveling sand this stuff is really good it's only four dollars a bag over at home depot i got three four bags here i actually emptied out two inside that uh the buckets there but we're going to use this to actually build our mound for our waterfall i just have a basic level i don't have anything fancy so we're going to make sure that the water level or the actual level of the, the dirt and sand is going down this way okay so we're going to control the water by also adding our rock which we have right here lots of rock that we got and we also have some weenie dogs too here as well so let's get to it <laughs> just about finished I think I need another two more bags uh, maybe dump another bag here and a bag right in here to fill in this section um, I did take a level obviously you can kind of see it from this angle it is sloping downhill um, and it comes to this little pooling area which is sloping this way here's a little flat this is where I want to add a little bit more dirt just to be safe and then of course it's coming downhill a gradual downhill to the edge here which we're gonna run our underlayment and um, some pond liner in this area here and we're going to drape it over here and then restack the rocks over the liner tuck it in you won't be able to see it and then we'll add our rock and we'll rock this all in and uh waterfall foam it in boom it's the next day guys enough about the tiki falls talk that'll be saved for another video i just wanted to give you guys a quick update on what's going on with tiki falls and adding a new waterfall okay now we're going to jump into the fryer that's going on inside the peacock nest all right so this is a quick update on the fry what's going on there's some surprises check it out first edition of uh susan lucci and gucci's fry 
they're getting big. They're probably, I would say, maybe a half inch big. And uh, they're healthy, no casualties. And then we have the second offspring, which are doing well. Let's go from the top here. These guys are doing great. They are a little bit, they're probably half the size of what the first batch is. They're doing great. And as you see here, we have another breeder box. This is a netting type style. And if you look good, let's see if we can find him in the corner there. Okay, guys, so I'm doing a voiceover right on this footage that was taken probably about two weeks ago. This is my peacock, my OB peacock in my Hapson peacock tank. Uh, she's a pretty big girl. Uh, you know, I had no idea she was a girl. I noticed the last three days she wasn't eating. I'm very alert with my tanks. I noticed three days she wasn't eating. Evidently, it was longer than that. And um, I had a netter, so I waited till about 3 o'clock in the morning. This is me, late, late, early, early morning, <laughs> if that makes sense. And you know when the fish are in that state of uh, sleeping where they're kind of in a zombie mode, it's the easiest way to net your fish. So that's what I did. Trying to do it really fast without stressing her out. There she is. So once I netted her, I actually stuck her in the 10-gallon quarantine tank. Here she is. Now as I'm watching her, I'm noticing her mouth is moving around. She's breathing normal. I think I stressed her out and she swallowed the eggs or she spit the eggs out. That's what I was assuming. I threw some food in there and she reacted to the food and ate it. So then I was just thinking she spit the eggs out or she swallowed it or something. So we're going to go back forward to the footage now. That is our newest fry. It is an OB. I don't know. We just got to see what's happened. This is the only fry that survived. Uh, she evidently spit while I uh, transferred her. And um, I guess the fry, I guess she was holding longer than three days because uh, they don't develop till about 10, 11 days is when the actual fry will develop and swim on their own. So this is our newest fry. So it's an OB mix with something. Uh, so I'm super excited. I have no idea who she mated with. There's mama right there in the background. Uh, there she is. It's, sorry, it's, I'm trying to hit an angle here for you guys. There we go. There's mama. We got a bright window in the background, which is really cool. So, yeah, there's a bunch of flavors in this aquarium that um, could have mated with her. And I have no idea. Mari Povich episode and find out who the dad is. But uh, our female OB, she's doing great. You know, she's right. She's right there. And um, I had no idea she was a uh, female, but now we know. So isn't that bananas, right? So we have a solo fry, a single fry from the OB. Um, I'm really excited and I'm curious, as I'm sure you guys are too. You guys are going to be right there with me on this journey to see what this fry is going to look like. Now, I think I'm going to name that fry Justin, as in Justin Timberlake. You know, he went solo, artist, uh, broke away from NSYNC. I don't even know why, but that name just popped up in my head. Top of the dome. We're freestyling right now. We're going to call him Justin after Justin Timberlake, all right? Just got something in the mail. Check it out. It is the Sun Sun Submersible Filter Pump. Now, I needed this. This is going to go in the outdoor tub where Keanu and Kenshi are, all right? That's that tub that I have outside that's going to be like my quarantine tub for any fish that I do put in the Tiki Falls 2.0. It doesn't have a pump. I want to show you guys the setup. We need this. We're going to do an unboxing when I come back, all right, on this pump and set it up. And um, let me show you guys. I don't know if you guys remember the setup. Okay, so let's go check it out outside. So here's the setup. It may look different from the first time. I just have this piece of cardboard over the top just for the sun. Once the sun starts to come in, as you can see it right there. Um, this is a crate. This is the uh, cover that I have. And um, if you check it out, I have these concrete cinder blocks, okay? They were only like a dollar eighty at Home Depot for one. I bought 12 of them. I surrounded them and kind of wedged them in, keep them tight. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but if you look down inside the tub, you can see those white stress marks on the plastic. After a while, the water weight will actually just blow this whole thing out. So what I did was I got these cinder blocks and I smashed them up against the tub. So it's gonna keep it stable and not it uh, keep it from not bowing and stretching out the plastic. So 
Uh, just a quick FYI on that, if you guys ever want to do that really cheap, this tub is a 30 gallon tub. As you can see, the media is in the back there. And um, I'm going to show you guys the setup here, okay? So basically, all we got is bags of media, all right? We got bags of media here, and then we just have a pump, a submersible pump, which is like a 400 gallon an hour pump. All right, here it is right here. As you can see, I don't want to lift it up. It's going to shoot water everywhere, but this is what's just aerating the water, okay? There's no filter. I just have this to aerate the water, as you can see it bubbling right there. It's a little too much. So what I did was I just grabbed this filter bag here, and I just stuck it over the top. It muffles it, and it still breaks uh, the surface for agitation for uh, the fish here, okay? As you can see, they're doing great. I don't have a filter in here, so what I've been doing was water changes every single day. I would do like 50% water change on the tub. It's really easy. The hose is right here. I just get a bucket and I just empty it out into the flower bed there. And um, I do that every single day. Make sure the water is clean for these guys. And, um, you know, they're doing great. So I think we're gonna be adding them to Tiki Falls really soon. So stay tuned for that one too as well. But here we are, we're gonna add a filter. So now we're gonna have a filter inside this tub, which is a 30 gallon tub, okay? Uh, the um, filter is set up for a 50 gallon. So let's get back into it. All right guys, so this thing is really simple to put together. I was kind of going through the instructions here. It doesn't really give you too much. Um, no pictures, I'm a big picture guy. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, so I kind of was just looking at the outside of the box. I looked at the, the box parts. I looked at the way they have it set up. Now there's two different ways you can set this thing up, okay? Um, they give you some airline pipe and some tubing and you can put this piece in here and then you can probably connect this air line to maybe an air stone or something of that nature. But we're not using this piece or this adapter. It comes with an air check valve too as well. Um, we are using the spray bar, okay? So really simple, two pieces. You got this piece here, I don't even know what it's called, but it's a piece that goes into this little round cylinder circle here, all right? We jam that in there nice and tight. It's got this little tab up here to secure it. Okay, and then we add the bar. Really simple, right here to the top. See that, it goes right in there. Boom, that slides in, and then there you go. That is it. You plug it in, just the regular standard plug. You're gonna plug it in, you got your four suction cups. It's gonna suction to the side. Um, the base right here, the very, very bottom, this piece pops off, really easy to take off. Um, yeah, real easy. Anyways, yeah, it is. It's easy. It pops off, and then you got your mechanical filtration, which you got a nice big thick sponge down there. It's got a hole there because that is the impeller that's going to be spinning, that's going to be doing all the sucking, and all the debris will be getting sucked up through here. That's why you got these vents. Really easy to change out the sponge every couple weeks, clean it out like your normal sponge filter, and... Uh, that's it. Now look at this little button here. You can control the vents. Look at, you can close them, you can open them up. All right. So we're going to open up the vents and uh, you got one on each side. All right. So you can close one side and just leave one side open, but we're going to open up both sides and uh, yeah, that's it. So let's go plug it in outside and see how it works. Plug this in. Boom. Oh, check it out, guys. Nice little flow here. I'm digging it out. So I just kind of uh, attached it right about yay high. Now, these rollers here, you can actually turn them. They pivot. So you can actually shoot the water up higher if you want more agitation. Uh, I just kind of have it even with the water here. So, yeah, that's it. So I put the biomedia down below it just in case this suction slides down. At least it could have the biomedia to kind of sit on if that ever happens and I'm not here. Um, but other than that, though, yeah, success. Nice little filtration system for this 30-gallon um, tub. So uh, 
that's the quarantine tub for the setup for Tiki Falls 2.0. All right, guys, so before I go, one more time, the Sun Sun Submersible Power Filter, uh, model number JP044F. Uh, it's really important that you know that there's different sizes. This one's geared towards a 50-gallon tank. The flow rate is 210 gallons per hour, solid pump. Uh, it's very quiet. Even though it's outside here, this is a great pump to uh, have in case of an emergency. You know, you need a quick quarantine tank or a hospital tank. Um, you plug it in and it's good to go. You don't need airline hose. You don't need an air pump. Uh, so that's what makes this little pump unique. Uh, it's got mechanical and uh, um, uh, biological filtration with the sponge. But not only that, though, the top of it, there's a cap. It comes off, and you can put biomedia in there, too, as well, whether it be or, 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 or chemical. You know, you can you put a little bag of charcoal in there, or you can put bio rings in there. So this is the pump to have. In my opinion, I think it's better than a sponge filter just because you need the extra stuff. Um, I don't know how long it lasts, though, um, but... I mean, for the most part, it cleared the water up really fast. Fish are loving it. Aeration too as well. So it's like an all-in-one filter. Um, and it was only $15, guys. $15. I'll put the link down in the description below. Um, check it out. It was on eBay, but I'm sure you can find it cheaper on Amazon. Um, you know what? And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, all right? Uh, don't forget, if you haven't been a part of the uh, Hawaiian Peacock Ohana, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell so it notifies you when I put out a new video. You can't miss Tiki Falls. There's the new falls. It's in the making. Um, I can't wait to do this build for you guys, man. It's going to be awesome. Um, other than that, though, like, comment down below. Tell me what you think about the filter pump. Tell me what you guys think about the new build. And share this video. Spread the aloha spirit. Um, I love you guys. My Hawaiian Peacock Ohana, I love you guys. We're growing. All my new subscribers, welcome to the Hawaiian Peacock channel. Uh, and you know what? I want to give a huge shout out to all the moms out there. Happy Mother's Day. I love you guys. And just remember, guys, love your mom because without them, there's none of us, all right? They only, uh, let's see here, gave birth to us. Anyways, guys, enjoy your guys' weekend. Don't forget, happy fish, happy life, much love, and aloha. Every, every day, all the water she